you you don't really understand how small of a number of 500 something students is you know, mm -hmm. before you work here and then you don't really understand how bad the flood hit this area until you start working here The environment is very, um, very well uh, received when you come here because most of the people come here thinking that they expect the kids to fight all day. They expect kids to be running around tearing the school up, but it's nothing like that. I think it's a great school to body. I think they, they don't get the respect that they deserve. And uh, on a daily basis, you, you find great students. I love the students of Glen Oaks Magnet High School. You guys have um, a lot of life, a lot of culture, a lot of excitement about your school and what you want out of your school. You would actually have to come to Glen Oaks to know what's going on. The perfect school is resourceful, caring, and supportive to all its students. Teachers are understanding and attentive. Students are cooperative and responsible. Everyone would enjoy the taking part in the educational process. The perfect school in my eyes is a school with good attendance, a school where you don't have to fear failure or fear violence. A school with good spirit that is mm, a school with good spirit that's a school everybody would like to attend every day. Last but not least, a school with actual learning, not just learning in books, but hands on learning, visual learning, and listening learning. Teachers, really, like teachers that care, that actually want to teach and help us. You know, because it's only a few here and there around the school. Some just don't care. The thing that other schools have that Glen Oaks don't, and that we're lacking, is uh, technology and support from the, uh, the school system. Well, we're lacking teachers in areas of core subject that we really need to help us in the future, and we also need um, counseling when it comes to college entrance and scholarships and things like that. Do you feel safe? Okay, and why do you work at Glen Oaks? Why there? That's what they say. Uh, but they'll, they'll say stuff like, you know, you all right? You know, uh, what's it like? You know, it's, you know, it's, it's small. Well, it was actually better than what I expected because all the rumors I heard was 
a lot of negative things, but I knew most of it was not true because my uh, stepson and nephew graduated from here. Um, I believe that 95% of our students here have an earnest desire to learn um, and that they are driven but they need to be guided into the direction that could best suit them for success in life, whether that's going to college or going into the workforce or the military. And just like with any children, um, they will misbehave if they do not have proper instruction, but I just believe that at Glen Oaks High, the students are lacking you know, discipline, they're, lack, they're lacking instruction, because if they are in a class and the teacher has something for them to do bell to bell, those children will perform. But, it, but those same kids, if they go to a different class and they're not clearly guided expectations or rules that are established in the classroom, then they will become a discipline problem. But I believe that the majority of our children can and will learn if they are in an environment that's suitable to learn. What's up? Uh, Glen Oaks, um, you got great students, you know, uh, I was a little surprised at uh, some of the level of um, poverty of some of our student members, you know, but uh, that's, uh, you know, that that's the biggest thing. It's not a, you know, you hear people talk, you know, at the side of their neck talking about how Glen Oaks is a discipline problem, or it's, and it absolutely doesn't. I mean, the majority, uh, I'm going to go ahead and say all of our students are great students. We don't have, the Glen Oaks doesn't admit bad kids, you know, it doesn't. There are, there are no bad kids here. Oh, the students are nothing like I heard they were supposed to be. Most of the students I know, they are very intelligent. They're very uh, well behaved. And they get along pretty good with, with each other. I'm one of the teachers that's part of the culturally responsive pedagogy. Um, this is something through the Humanities AMP program that LSU has partnered with East Baton Rouge Parish. And as a teacher representing Glen Oaks Magnet High School, the task was for my students to conduct a action research project. Um, because this was the first time my students was involved with this, I wanted to help them along the way. So one of the things that we were encouraged to do was create what was called a story circle where the students would actually sit and discuss concerns. Well, because of the rapport I have with my children, we didn't have to sit in a circle like everyone sat at their desk and just started to talk about issues that they face either here or outside of school. And one of the common threads was Glen Oaks Magnet High School is viewed negatively by the community. And so from there, we discovered this is going to be our research project. And together, we are going to try to help to eliminate the negativity associated with the school. Okay. McKinley, like McKinley have autism because I was in one station when they was telling me how they was trying to get a teacher's attention when the student has the teacher attention first and the teacher walked in to get another teacher's attention and the teacher just stopped talking to the student and was like talking to the adult and they was having a full-on conversation and the student was talking about i forgot what exactly they were talking about but it was something important and the student kept trying to ask her and she was just like what don't you see grown folks talking and they just love so i I know that a lot of schools go through half the stuff we go through, but we probably got it worse because they have more support than we do. Who has support? Other schools, like most of McKinley was at LSU. So I know all about McKinley than the rest of the schools. Gotcha. As we have our community members who are choosing to go elsewhere. But what we need to do as a community is actually build the school up and make it presentable so that ch people will want to send their children to Glen Oaks High. Some of the best memories are, especially when we first won our first ballot band, which was my first year, 1995. And the band started getting recognition then. So, if you look around the room, we have a lot of good memories here. <laughs> if you just take a picture of the room, you kind of see what I'm talking about. 
But I, I love Glen Oaks. It's a tough, you know, resilient school, resilient student body. You know, the flood was, was terrible, and you know, there's a positivity and a can-do attitude here that you know I really you know, like and respect. The caterpillar ate through one nice green leaf, and after that, <laughs> he left. He felt much better. <laughs> He wasn't hungry anymore. He wasn't a little caterpillar anymore either. He was a big, fat caterpillar. <laughs> he built a small house called a cocoon around himself. He stayed inside for more than two weeks. Then he nibbled a hole in the cocoon and pushed his way out. And he, he, got he was a beautiful butterfly. Is that it? See it. But when most people come over here and find out, they find out that Glen Oaks is one of the best schools in Baton Rouge.